What have you brought to the harvest today? Old and new cookbooks. <laughs> so, um, how did you or your family acquire these items? Uh, well, these aren't from my family. These I all bought or, or searched out to see because I know they existed since I did my family tree. They're significant to me, Salem's Grove and Snyder County. Uh, so churches and like the Salem's Grove Center and Salem's Grove High School. But uh, I, I bought them. I bought them. Nobody gave them to me. I had to buy them. Uh, this is Salem's Grove High School, 2011. Okay, they made a cookbook. My name's in here. I put some recipes in here to get my name in a cookbook. I'm, you know, I'm 54 years old. I wanted my name in a cookbook. I got since I found out about cookbooks. Doing the family tree of churches and local places, jobs like the Salem's Grove Center or library. That's how you get uh, your name in a cookbook by donating a recipe. Okay, so now my name's in here, and I use my three children's names because they went to school at Salem's Grove. So did I. Now this is where I live, Crofterville, our church. This is from 1950, so somewhere around there, Crofterville. We used to have a post office, we don't anymore. So that's significant to me. I wish I had some stuff stamped from Crotzerville, since my mother's maiden name is Crotzer, and my mm -hmm. family tree's Crotzer, and the town's called Crotzer. I love this one. This is from Grubbs. Grubbs is one of the oldest churches in the area, uh, Mount Pleasant Mills. Mm -hmm. A lot of my family members, like I said, they got baptized there, married there, confirmed there. So that's part of the family tree by the cookbooks. Their names are in here, you know, like I said. And then their recipes, our family recipes are in here. And like I said, I didn't get anything passed on to me. I bought these out, seeked them out. I knew they existed, mm -hmm. or if I come across them. These are postcards from Snyder County, you know, Whispering Pines. Mm -hmm. It's a beautiful apple orchard, mm -hmm. uh, discount grocery store run by Amish people. Yeah. So I, they, they give free postcards now. They used to sell postcards. Now they just give free ones to so advertise for themselves. So. Well, that's awesome. Um, so you definitely touched on this a little bit with each of them, but what is the main reason why you brought all all of these cookbooks here today? Well, I was never really a good cook. I mean, I only learned a few things because, you know, my both my parents worked, so I don't really think I learned anything from cooking from them. And uh, my both all my, both all four of my grandparents were Pens spoke Pennsylvania Dutch and were farmers. So, of course, I used to eat pig brain, stuff like that, but I never asked how to make it, you know. 